This is a presentation on contract management. Here's a, another quote that says the first principle of contract negotiation is don't remind them of what you did in the past. Tell them what you're going to do in the future. Contract management is the process that includes negotiating the terms and conditions in contracts and ensuring compliance for the purpose of minimizing risks to the project. We're going to look in this presentation, contract management from the perspective of the project contract, the agreement that the project has with the donor, and also the contracts or procurement processes that happen from the project when it wants to acquire goods or services. Let's look at our process where we have our inputs and we look at our WBS, the project proposal, uh, the log frame, the contract, any project agreements, and local regulations. We have our plan, we administer our contract, we check and make sure that we're complying with the contract, and then we adapt or make improvements. Key outputs of this process is a contract management plan, a process to authorize any changes and improvements to the plan. The plan step is when we define contract planning and involves the, determining the contract terms and conditions and then define any risk. In this step, what we're trying to do is make sure that the team and everybody involved with the project has a good understanding of what is the contract and understand the terms and conditions. The next step, contract administration includes activities to solicit, award, report, and administer the contract. These are either the contract with the donor or contract with third parties. The check step to contract compliance, monitoring and evaluating the contract for compliance with clauses and requests for changes, and adapt contract modifications that include the actions to improve the contract with modifications and amendments to the contract clauses and agreements. The contract management plan, we look at elements like terms and conditions, we identify any risk areas that we may have in the project and the contract. Here we also look at reportment requirements and we make sure that we have clarification on the different roles that are needed to manage the contract. The procurement management plan is a process where we identify the procurement strategy and we use a procurement matrix, a simple table that helps us identify the different items that the project will purchase through contracts and identify not only the type but the budget, the amount that is planned to spend, the actual spend, due dates, and the status. We'll have a different presentation on this matrix. Contract administration. It's ensurance that we have compliance, that everybody in the team and all the processes that the project is going to be using are in compliance with the donor requirements, that there are steps for contract reviews. There may be some opportunities to make changes or improvements, uh, making sure that we're following regulations. This could be also local regulations in terms of how the project is, is managing, uh, looking at exceptions. And when we find changes and understanding how we manage exceptions in the contract, reporting needs, and different procedures to manage and administer our contract. In procurement administration, this is where we manage the process for solicitation of and requirements, uh, vendor selection, how we select the contract award, how we select a vendor. Uh, how we manage and administer the contracts with the different vendors, and the process of vendor management, the communications and reporting we do. Contract compliance from the donor contract, we look at changes, clauses, and disputes. From the procurement contract with vendors, we look at timeliness of the delivery and damages during delivery, quality of the product received, accuracy on invoicing, and any kind of customer support that is provided by the vendor. Contract modifications include um, changes, contract amendments, uh, vendor contract modifications that happens uh, when there is a need from the project to change anything on the contract, and the process to also 
close the contract and making sure that we don't have anything outstanding and that we're able to meet all the requirements of the contract. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.